Hi everyone, I'm Mayor Patrick Hall. I'm here with all the highlights from Council's March Ordinary Council meeting, and it was a big meeting. Now, four motions which were raised by Canning residents at the annual general meeting of electors way back in January have now been decided upon by Council. Council supported the first motion, which included a request to the CEO to undertake further engagement with residents during the 2023 tree planning schedule. A terrific proposal. The second motion, which involved the installation of fixed CCTV in Arthur Street in Kennington, was not supported by Council. However, the City did resolve to increase the deployment of mobile CCTV units in the area. Additionally, increased patrols by our Ranger and Community Safety Team will be scheduled to detect and deter antisocial behaviour. A request to the CEO to provide a performance report of the Security Incentive Scheme will be presented to Council by March next year and Council has requested that consideration be given to increasing the budget for the scheme from $20,000 to $100,000. Council also supported the third motion which requested the City to work with the Department of Transport to develop a shared use path behind the Canning River Estate. Now this will connect the existing paths at Watts Road and Bywater Way in Wilson, which are both shown on the long-term cycling network plan and the cycling and walking plan. It's a great idea, which I'm sure will be welcomed by the local community. Now, the last motion, the very last of the four motions, which asked the city to install a pedestrian path at Cody Park in Wilson, was also supported by council. Now, that motion also included a request to the CEO that he ensures engagement with relevant stakeholders in the project to ascertain the needs, scope and cost estimates, all of which will be considered in the city's annual budget process. Council has appointed the Western Australian Electoral Commissioner for the conduct of the 2023 ordinary election on behalf of the city. It's likely that that election, which will be held in October this year, will be conducted using the optional preferential voting system. And the cost of holding the election has increased from $245,000 in 2021 to an estimated $310,000 taking into account the new voting system. Council has provided its support for the transfer of a private laneway in Boulder Street West in Bentley from its previous owner, a now defunct company, to the state government. The laneway has remained in the ownership of that defunct company since way back in 1906 and its transfer to the state government will allow for its subsequent sale to the adjoining property owner so it can be used to create more opportunities for housing availability in the area. Also at the meeting, Council adopted a scheme amendment to improve upon the efficiency and overall operation of city planning. This will allow for a new land use to be introduced called the Independent Living Complex, which ensures the city has an improved planning framework when assessing aged person developments. Additionally, this amendment will also change land permissions for consulting rooms, educational establishments and bulky goods showrooms to create greater flexibility within the city's commercial and industrial zoning. A multi-level car park feasibility study has been received by Council looking into the viability of a multi-level car park in the Canning City Centre. Now, based on that study, Council has requested the CEO to further investigate potential changes to parking management within the Canning City Centre and to report back to Council by December 2023. And in great news, and this is great news, Council has adopted the City's Disability Access and Inclusion Plan for 2023 to 2028, a plan which has been universally welcomed and supported by our community. The plan was informed through consultation with the City of Canning Access and Inclusion Advisory Group and the Canning community more broadly with the objectives, actions and outcomes specific to our city and the community. Council would like to thank all of those who contributed so meaningfully to the plan by providing their ideas, comments and invaluable feedback. Thank you very much. Well, that's all from me today, everyone. If you'd like more information about any of the key outcomes and decisions from that council meeting, please visit the City of Canning's website and look for agendas and minutes. Thanks, everyone. Bye.